So I'm going to attempt to explain this without rattling on too much. While most of reality is based on a kind of consensus model, I do believe that's why a lot of things are the way they are at this point within our cycle. Like certain things are not um, talked about. Certain things are not um, explicitly divulged because they're trying to create this consensus reality of you know people that believe in this particular thing because the power of of thought and the power of just adhering to something is 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 tremendous but i digress um for the most part reality is a consensus model um but you do have people that have their own like localized realities and for the most part these bubbles if you will um don't cause that many ripples or waves um but they can get really really weird like you can have anomalies anomalous uh anomalous phenomenon behavior uh, abilities things that are connected to these these localized reality bubbles right these localized realities um for the most part most of these bubbles don't really 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 um, get big enough to cause that many disruptions when they do trust me it's a situation where they keep their eye on you but these bubbles can uh, all kinds of things can happen within these bubbles and sometimes you can walk into someone else's reality bubble again most of the time uh, these bubbles are imperceivable and, and the, the, the byproducts of said bubbles are so minute you don't even pay attention but sometimes like, you know, that like a person walks into a room, sometimes that's energy, but sometimes like they're literally carrying their own reality with them to an, to a point, to an extent. I've said before in previous videos, that's what happens when you run into a lot of entities. They're carrying vestiges of their own reality with them, which makes things really, really strange, you know, if not, but during a direct interaction with said entity. Anyway, yep.